Hi there friends, today we're going to discuss the input. So let me go ahead and maximize the Atom Editor. And as you can see, I have created a new file, ex5 underscore input.c. And I have here the few elements. I have added ahead of time these two lines. So the first line is the character a variable is equal to get character. So C supports is a number of ways for taking user input. The first one is get character function. So this returns the value of the next single character input. And then on this line we print it out, we display it on the screen. So let's try running this by right clicking and compile and run. So as you can see it is waiting for us to input to type something. So let's go ahead and put a letter since we're since it is a character. So let's try A and it prints the value A. You entered A since that's the character we typed in. So the input is stored in the variable A and then this line we print it out we displayed it using the printf function so next is the get s function so I have here created this let me cop let me uncomment this and let me comment this lines first so next is the, the get s function and the get is function is used to read input as an ordered sequence of characters, also called a string. So here on the first line I have created an array of hundred characters. Character array of hundred characters. And then on this line I use the get s function uh, to read input as an ordered ordered sequence of characters. And then I have displayed it on this line. So we, you entered whatever you type in the window. It will be displayed on the screen. So let, let us go ahead and run this. So compile and run. So it is asking, it is uh, telling us to type something. So we can type something like, I love programming. And as you can see, you entered a lab programming. So it's a character as long as it's not, as long as uh, the words is below 100, it will not go to produce an error. So again, uh, we stored the input in an array of 100 characters. So that's how, how, this, that how you use the get s function. So let me comment this out. Let's proceed to the next one. So the next is the scanf. So let me, instead of commenting this out, I'll just go ahead and delete this and start all over again. So I'm going to create an integer array. So let's start with this line. So I have created an array and then I have an integer, I'm sorry. I have created an integer variable a. And then this line here, scan app input, scan uh, it scans input that matches format specifier. So we use the D for decimal, and then this address A or this and A. So this and sign before the variable name is the address operator. So we have a variable A, then we have this address operator. It gives the address or location in memory of a variable. So this is needed because scanf replaces an input value at a variable address. So let me go ahead and run this now by right clicking and file and run. So let's 
that's put six. So you insert six. So that's how you use scanf. So I'll give another example of scanf. So instead of just one, um, one, one prompt, why not put in two prompts? So I will give you another example, and I'm going to I'm going to add another variable here. So int a and v, and then I'm going to prompt the user from the screen first by printing out a text. So, so you need to enter two numbers. And then the scan f going to assign the whatever you type in in uh, whatever numbers you type in will be stored in the variable a and v so that's what we're going to add in here to so the address of v and then in here we also need to add additional format specifiers since we are need since we need two numbers a and v it will be stored on this on this address address of a and address of b and then instead of uh, let me just delete this so let me put the text in here the sum of sum of a and b so that will be Format, the format specifier a and b the sum of a plus v is equal to percent d and then we need to put the a here and then b and then the a plus b so this will be re this will be the value a and then this one it will be this value of v whatever value we have for b will be put will be displayed in here and then here is the result for adding the a and b so let's go ahead and run the program by right clicking the file and then compile and run oh okay as you can see i have i have an error on my program and you will see that you'll see that in here on the top right portion that your code has an error so let me go let me check my code and as you can see we need to put a comma in here since if we forgot to put in here then it will think that it's it's the, the same line or it's the same uh, variable so let make sure to separate each variable with a comma and then let's try running it again by compiling and running the program so compile and run and here is the prompt you need to enter two numbers let's try the simple one six and then the six enter so the sum of six plus six is twelve so that's how you use the scanf uh, for adding uh, multiple numbers so a quick note about scanf so scanf stops reading as soon as it encounters a space. So text such as hello world, like for example, just type in here hello world, something like that. So hello world in two separate inputs for scanf. So it's going to stop here, and hello, will not proceed to the next word. Since scanf read, uh, it will stop as soon as it encounters a space. A space. So if you're going to use uh, for a character, and also a quick recommendation, I also uh, recommend using the fgets instead of scanf, which can cause uh, overflows and other sorts of problem. And um, earlier, I have we have used the get s function. Uh, by the way, the get s function has been de deprecated in C because it can result in a buffer overflow and a lot of problems 
and uh, it was also deprecated in C++11 and removed in C++14 so just a uh, quick reminder for you guys so so that's it before you before we wrap up let's test your knowledge I have here I have something for you so I have something for you before you uh, it is here on my tab the other tab so type in a code to read the character from the input so can you peel in this missing uh, what do you think is what do you think should you put in here so please Feel free to leave your answers in the comment section below. Thank you.